Although the World Cup was pretty disappointing for Team USA fans, certain organizations can be happy with their players' performance. Utah is a good example with Joe Ingles, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert all playing on a high level. Denver had some success with Juancho Hernan Gomez being an important part of Spain's World Cup success. And of course, we shouldn't forget Ricky Rubio of Phoenix Suns. Media didn't talk much about US players given how everything panned out. It's as if everyone wanted to forget the competition as soon as possible. However, one dude who really impressed me was Miles Turner. And here, I'm not necessarily talking about stats, but versatility that he has shown in his game. It seems that the guy has another layer that we don't know of. With that being said, I ask myself, can Miles Turner become an All-NBA player? Turner was always a solid defender, but this previous season he took another step forward ending the season as the leader in blocked shots. Other aspects of his defensive game were also impressive, for example being able to guard pick and roll as well as players on perimeter. But my concern was never his defense, but instead his ability to have a significant impact on offense. My main critique of Miles Turner was his inability to create for himself. Turner relies heavily on pick and roll and pick and pop to get his shots off. He's also good at exploiting occasional weaknesses in opponent's defense, driving straight to the hoop. However, he tends to struggle against properly set defense. If he is to become an elite player, he should be able to score in ISO situations like his peers and not only score, but score in high volumes. His offensive role is pretty limited at this point and one of the reasons why he is rarely mentioned as a top player is because of his point averages. Throughout his career he averaged between 10 to 15 points which is more within role player area. This also has to do with the system as Indiana was never known as a center focused team. Turner has shown a significant improvement this previous season in terms of his jump shot although he was always a good shooter for his position. His 3 point percentage was really nice. Unfortunately it still feels that he isn't someone who you can post up or give ball to in a clutch. During the World Cup I've seen a couple of nice things which makes me think that he is slowly starting to improve as a post up threat. He played with much more freedom and during a few games he was one of the main producers for Team USA. This begs the question, whether or not he's a bit underutilized on Pacers and how would he manage if his role increased. In fact, you can say that this and passing are two things which are missing in his repertoire. I saw him make a few layups and nice pins in the paint which really impressed me. Nevertheless, I feel he still needs to work a lot on his post game as I said previously. Even if he masters a couple of moves, he will also have to work on his passing if teams start doubling him. It won't be as easy, but he has the foot speed, strength and agility to make it happen. At this point in time, Miles Turner has a long way to go until he becomes one of the top 3 centers in the league, given how stiff the competition is. If we consider that AD is a power forward, there are still guys such as Jokic, Embiid and Gobert that he will need to overcome. It is really hard to imagine Turner being ahead of Jokic or Embiid given their high usage rate and stats that come with. Unlike these two, Gobert is not as impressive in terms of the base stats but his advanced stats and impact are off the chart. We also have to mention other guys like Cat and Vucevic who are ways ahead of him. Advanced stats are perhaps the best depiction of how far away these guys are and how much it takes to become one of the top 3 centers in the NBA. But based on what I've seen this previous season, I think Turner's ceiling is much higher than someone like Clint Capella or Andre Drummond who have clear offensive limitations in their game. To me, the best chance Miles Turner has to become an All-NBA is either if he changes the team and goes somewhere where he will become the focal point 
or if he significantly improves his skill set. The thing that goes in his favor is the fact he's pretty good defensively and has a nice smooth jumper. I don't have to tell you that these skills are crucial for a modern center, but I still need to see more from him. Although he is quite young, he isn't new to NBA. The following season will likely tell us how his career will pan out and whether he will remain an awesome role player or if he will start carrying Indiana's offense. Pacers fans definitely have high hopes for him and if he fulfills his potential, perhaps we will start mentioning Indiana as a title contender. Anyway, these are my thoughts regarding Miles Turner, one of the more underrated NBA centers. How do you feel about him? What is your main critique of Miles Turner? Share it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see ya!